Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Von Karma got the jump on us, and he took all of our evidence. Unfortunately. Grr, there has to be some way I can help her. I'd better do something about her self-confidence first. Huh? Maya, she's holding something. What's that? A bullet? DL6 incident, evidence number 7. Take it from the heart of Grigory Edgeworth. I remember. Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped him. The bullet. Still, we're gonna connect him. We're gonna connect him to that fucker. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. To be continued. That gun belonged to Von Karma then. Yep. And the gun here belonged to him as well. We got you, motherfucker. Hurry up, I want to get to the good part! This is it. Judgment Day. Today, things are going to be settled at last. A lot of things. Ah! What's the big idea? Sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. Guess the shock hasn't worn off from my run-in with the sun gun yesterday. Anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Yeah, thanks, Maya. <laughs> I still have 200,000 volts coursing through my body. Edgeworth is looking glum as always. I hope Von Karma doesn't push him too hard. Whoa! Oh, it's him. Whoa! What are you doing? Hi, I'm sorry. I just thought I'd cheer you up with a pat on the back. Maya, uh, maybe you should go outside and discharge. Right, good idea. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. I still can't believe we didn't bring it up to, like, the the police or anything. Warrior Pearl! What's gotten into that girl? Detective Gumshoe! Morning, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, good morning. How'd it go, Detective? Have no fear. As promised, I've captured our runaway caretaker. I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You must be tired. Actually, after that shock, I got on the way in. I feel pretty good. Yogi says he's forgotten his own name. But that has to be a lie. Why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? He does remember. And I'm going to prove it. Yeah! Alright, we're doing this, man! Hell yeah. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. Day 3. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Hm. The prosecution is ready. Uh, right. Very well. We have reached the final day in our proceedings in this trial. As the prosecution submitted decisive evidence. Understood. Huh. Come on, don't be awed into silence by every little thing he says! <laughs> Very well, Mr. Karma. Your opening statement. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Very well. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. I'm gonna fucking turn this on its ass, you piece of shit. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. Witness? Why did you run away yesterday? The witness has not was not running away, as he will now testify. I, I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. Oh, oof. Why I left the court. Yeah, I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did. But I wasn't running away or nothing. I uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? I think it got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Uh, I mean, I need one of these motive things, right? I don't got one. Got you. So my testimony yesterday stands as is. Hmm, very well. 
Let us begin the cross-examination, shall we? He has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. I'd call what you did running away and not just leaving. You heard Larry's testimony and realized you were in danger. Now, now, Mr. Wright, there's no need to rush to conclusions. As I said, the witness was not running away. Listen to the testimony. He, he sure was just running right. away. In fact, they both do. Von Karma and Yanni Yogi. Actually, you know what? I haven't checked. What evidence do I still have? So he took the letter. He took the DL6 evidence. Is that over there? Okay, no, I still, still have the DL6. He just took the letter that connected him to it. And we do have the other bullet. Hmm. I went to buy some food for Polly. Food? Well, Polly's a bit of a gourmand, you see. She only eats these high-quality bird pellets from France. They only have them in the big pet shop downtown. But you weren't arrested until this morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker shack? Uh, well... I kind of got lost, you see. The witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. Yeah, right. Nice try, Von Karma. No one's gonna believe that. Hmm, I see. So he was lost. God damn it! Please, Your Honor, come to your senses! Figure I got nothing to do with this. You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, yep. Seems like it. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh... Or... Or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof! <laughs> How am I supposed to prove what is going on in that old codger's head? That's impossible! Huh. I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? I only got one. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? <clears throat> Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory beyond anything... Oh, anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove he's lying about this memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. We need to bring up the... Uh... Might I say something, Mr. Wright? Uh, yes. Yes, Your Honor? You've been saying the same thing over and over now. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past or lack thereof into question. Does this really have anything to do with the current case? Mm-hmm. Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with the case and no motive. Both of these statements are lies! Order! Order! Mr. Wright, there's a serious problem with your claim. Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Ho <laughs> ho! Now this is interesting. I would like to know myself, so who is he? Don't play dumb on Karma! Mr. Wright, please tell us the witness's name. <laughs> Gregory Edgeworth. His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. Yogi? That name seems familiar. Oh! Yanni Yogi, from the DL6 incident. I it fired his ass. It figured the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. <clears throat> tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi. Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat myself once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now, I'm going to save. 
then I've got nowhere else to go. Nick, how are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor? Please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I see, that makes sense. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Huh? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. Why? The witness has no fingerprints! I what? burned them off myself! What? No fingerprints? Uh, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. Burned my fingers working with this stuff. Oh, yep. What? Yogi, you sneak! <clears throat> you burned your fingerprints off to hide your past? Hmm. Well, the witness has no fingerprints. Dental records, then. I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Uh, hmm. It seems the case has been decided, no? No! I know what happened. I know everything. I, I just can't prove it. But no, I can't let it end like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. The bird. Nick, what are we going to do? I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Well, Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine his parrot for... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're a sore winner, Von Karma. Wait a second. Cross-examine his parrot. Yeah! What is it, Nick? No. You're not going to... Your Honor! <clears throat> the defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up? On my proposal? Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot. <laughs> <laughs> order! Order! Uh, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Need you even ask? This is a farce. I object. Wait a second, you were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma. I have a right to do as you suggested. Ugh. Well, if you're so desperate, then please be my guest. Ugh. Of course, should you go through with this, and nothing comes of it, then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick, this is crazy. Well, still want to go through with your little game? Yeah! Let the parrot take the stand. I will cross-examine her, Your Honor. Oh, I'm getting excited. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard! Von Karma's raped every person's testimony, every piece of evidence, except the parrot. She's my last chance. At least, I think so. Bailiff, bring in the parrot. What's up, fuckface? <laughs> oh, we forgot to... Oh shit, we have six minutes left. We can do it. <laughs> That's quite a bird. Please tell us your name. Name! The witness is ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> it must hurt to be ignored by a bird. Ahem, very well, witness. Who is your owner? Please er, testify for us. You gotta ask the question right. Hello! Hello! Squirt! Oh my god. You gotta do it right. Certainly mm, the most... Certainly the most concise <laughs> testimony I've had so far. <laughs> Very well. Begin your cross-examination. Right. What are you gonna do, Nick? <laughs> I... I don't know. What do we do, Maya? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we need to present evidence that, like, you have to say it right. Remember, you have to... What have we forgotten? Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. <laughs> the semen, you're on. It's false! Well, I guess we should try some information on her. You show the judge... Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. <laughs> Maya, you talk to her. Right, uh, what do I say? Oh, you've forgotten something. As I recall, two days ago... 
Polly, Polly, have you forgotten something? Squawk, don't forget DL6, Squawk! If I can get Polly to say that here, that will prove that the caretaker had something to do with DL6. Um, Polly, have we forgotten something? Hello, hello, Squawk! That's not what you're supposed to say. Forgot something, we forgot. Hello, hello! No, oh, it's not working, Nick. She won't say it. This is ridiculous. Why won't she say it? Tsk, tsk, tsk. Something the matter, Mr. Wright? Wait, don't tell me Von Karma expected this. He couldn't have retrained the parrot, could he? Did he train her not to respond when he asked if we'd forgotten anything? <laughs> What's the safe number? Oh! That was the date of the thing, of the incident. Maybe I'll get her to say the number of that safe. The safe? Why? Let's just try to get her to say anything, okay? Polly, what was the number to the safe in the shack? One, two, two, eight! One, two, two, eight! My, what a reckless parrot. Well, Mr. Wright, <laughs> you're claiming that this number has something to do with the caretaker. 1228. Actually, it does. That's why I had her say it. Ha! Ridiculous! How can the number to a safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us your proof! What could possibly link this number to the caretaker's true identity? The yeah, DL6 incident. Yeah. Yeah, baby. 1228. The DL6 case file? What is this obsession you have with that case? Mr. Wright, or in this file is something relating to the safe number. Case summary. It's on the case summary page. The case summary? Specifically, the date on which the DL6 incident occurred. The date of the incident, December 28th. Why, that's today's date, 15 years ago. And the number on that safe is 1228. Ah! <clears throat> he used the date of the DL6 incident as the number for his safe, Your Honor. That's how important that date was to him. Yeah, you see, it certainly is an interesting coincidence. People often do set their secret numbers to date. Bah! This is not tangible yeah, I proof! That. I, set my, I set my ATM's card number to 0001 because I'm number one! Really? <laughs> This has nothing to do with a date. Nothing! Hmm, indeed. <laughs> Alone is a little weak for evidence in a murder trial. We need some other corroborating evidence. Where am I going to find that? Nick, we're getting closer. <gasps> one more. If we can get one more piece of evidence. Right. I'm gone! But Goodbye! <laughs> Very well witnessed, you may continue. Uh, we got like one minute left. Do you mind if I just wrap it up? Yeah. Alright. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello, hello, Squawk. Hold it. Witness, you can't expect us to do, 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 do. What's your name? Maybe I should get her to say her name? Polly, Maybe. Polly! What's your name? Polly! Polly! Squawk! Mr. Mr. Wright, I think we've established that this parrot is named Polly. Does this have anything to do with her owner's identity? Of course. Yes, it does! Oh. Ah, fascinating! You claim that the parrot's name will prove her owner's oh, identity? Then show us this proof! Nick! Don't think you're... Don't you think you're taking this bluffing a little too far? Listen, we're not here to answer the question of who is the caretaker. We're here to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi. Your Honor. The proof that the parrot's name reveals the caretaker's identity is... The DL6 case file. The DL6 case file? That is quite a large file you have there. Which page is this proof on, then? Show us, or stop wasting our time. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please show us the page. Where in this file is the information connected to the parrot's name? It's on the suspect data page. Huh? This page has all information about Yanni Yogi. Right after he was arrested, 
His fiance committed suicide, see? Hmm. Indeed, it does say that, yes. What was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly! Exactly, Your Honor. Alright. Time's up, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.